Hello, everybody. Hey, what's going on, guys? I am Janae Strother. I'm Sean Spencer. Sean, what else we got open the show? Man, we got to go ahead and get into this scoreboard week two of the 2023 season. Already went down. Let's start off with your other team, the team that Washington plays next. Actually, played both of your teams. The Buffalo Billies, as you love to call them with your massive piece of magic, Mr. Josh Allen. Get back to form, beating the Raiders 38-10. to Janae on one side. Bills getting back to action. Gabriel Davis, Stephon Diggs, they got action. Cook was running the ball. On the other side, uh, oh, Jimmy G, Devontae, what y'all doing? Ten points? It didn't look good. It didn't what look good. The, it didn't gel well together. The defense mm-hmm. was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, I don't know what, what, what they're doing over there in Las Vegas, but it doesn't look good. And shout out to the Bills, man. The Bills look the way – we were hoping they would look. Now, it took a while for them to get into it, but once they was in, they just kept their foot on the gas. I mean, they did a great job. Yep. Yep. You have you have James Cook, like I said, running for over 120 yards. You got Josh Allen throwing 31 to 37, only missing six passes all game, just under 300 yards, three TDs. I mean, your Buffalo offense was amazing. That defense showed up and showed out. They finally look healthy. They're finally playing together. Yes. This is yes. the Buffalo that we're used to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. I want to see Josh Allen look that comfortable. I want to see them look like the way they should. That way next week uh, they eat the way they're supposed they to They can eat. taste. They can see the how. The how. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I believe. I believe that. I believe that. Look, let's move on down the list. Stay in the AFC. Another team that we're looking to kind of be like they used to be, the Kansas City Chiefs. They get the W, but again, they score less than 25 points. Yeah, Uh, they didn't quite. They did not quite look the way they should. Uh, uh -uh. Travis Kelsey did get a touchdown. He got a touchdown, but it still didn't look the way we are expecting them to look. Yeah. I am yeah. hoping that it starts to get better. But at this point, the way they're looking now, I feel like teams got a chance. Kansas City is not looking like the Super Bowl reigning champs from last year, for sure. No, they're not. And and I like now they get a reprieve this week because they gotta play, they get to play the Bears. So they, they should be able to get on their footing again, and then they get to play the Jets, who don't have Aaron Rodgers. So, again, these are two games where they should be able to win. And, shoot, then they get to play the daggone Broncos. So, look, they should be straight for the next three weeks. But sure. after, that, after that first week loss, and the team they played, Jacksonville's a solid squad. Let's let's yeah. not sleep on Jacksonville. A lot of their us picked them high this year. And their defense, their defense has stepped it right. up. Kansas right. City's defense. Is not the same defense that you could, you know, bully last year. Right. They right. changed some things around. They look good. And I think that what they are doing now, they're putting themselves in like a top 10 category for defense, man. They're looking oh, yeah. really good. Oh, yeah. Hey, they, I, mean, I mean, they held them. Trevor Lawrence, they held them to 10 points. Come on. Yes. I started them on my fantasy team. I know they held them to under Ouch. 10. Yeah. Thanks. Ouch, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I don't want to do anymore. No more fantasy. Look, we're moving on uh, to one team that I, I honestly, if you would have asked me at the beginning of the season, I would have said I think this team is tanking. Their main guy was they were going to potentially uh, trade him away. Um, the Tennessee Titans get the yeah. W over the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Janae, I, I mean, I'm surprised by this. Me too. But I'm also not surprised. I told you. You laughed at me last year when I said that Kellen Moore, Dak made oh. Kellen Moore look good. Oh, my goodness. Dak made no. him look good. <laughs> and it's playing out. The Chargers are not – they don't look like the same Chargers. Right, right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it is what it is. But I told Kellen, you what oh that, offensive, that offensive uh, coordinator was going to do. I told you. I'm glad they did that. They can get points, but they can't win the game. They still lost to the Titans. So that while their offense might be still working, what the same problems that Staley had from a year ago 
where you you might get a lead, but eventually you're going to give it up. Some may working out there. 0-2 start again? Come on now. Oh, new offensive coordinator. <laughs> That's all I want to say. That's all oh, I want to say. Oh, my goodness. Get out of here. Oh, God. Yo, Derrick Henry getting 80 yards. Tannehill throwing for uh, 240. You know, hey, they did what they needed to do. Somebody I wanted to take a look at, D-Hop. I have him on my fantasy team. Four receptions for 40 yards. Just kind of a, another piece of the puzzle. He's probably – hopefully he's – No, nah, he's going to be like A.J. Brown. Hopefully he doesn't go to Philly. But, uh, yeah. Apparently he reached out to y'all and y'all uh, – didn't take the call. You know, you know, we, we, right now, right now we're all right. We're all right right now. We're, we're holding all reserves for later. Wow. You know, but right now, we're, we're just fine. We're just fine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Like, you don't need them. Yo, let, yo let's keep going on this list. Um, we talked about Green Bay and Atlanta. Atlanta coming back and getting the W. Uh, Detroit and Seattle going to oh, overtime. Yeah. Oh, Detroit, yeah. uh, uh, Seattle getting the win. In overtime, 37 31. That uh, was a crazy game. That it was. was a crazy game. I thought Seattle had it. I mean, they were doing great. Detroit came back. Yep. And then I'm like, what is happening? And then, you know, they end up tying up the game going into overtime. But Seattle yep. pulled it off. Seattle yeah. pulled it off. I know they were happy about that, but it oh. comes down to the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's a big win for Seattle, man. I, I'm not going to lie. When I saw them come out the gates and lose to the Rams, I was sus- I was, I was, was yes. kind of suspect. Like, yes. mm, what's going on? Did they yes. pay Geno too quick? But, hey, I'm glad they came and got this done. Against the formidable force, man, the Detroit Lions are no slouch. We saw what yeah, they did good. in the season opener. And this could be a potential playoff matchup down the line, man. These are two High quality teams. Game. Definitely yeah. a high-scoring game. I was very pleased. Very oh, yeah. pleased with what I saw from both teams. Oh, yeah. So, shout-out to them for one of the great ones. And, and another one, uh, a game that I didn't expect to be that high-scoring, the Colts and the Texans. The Colts put up 31, and, and, and a, they went 31-20. to 20. Uh, Unfortunately, Anthony Richardson went out with a concussion. Yeah, uh, but that was, still, bad. Ooh, that was yeah. rough, too. A nasty little hit. But uh, still – Got two rushing touchdowns, still produced out there, so he looked good. Uh, you know, hopefully he'll be back. The Texans, are we? Are they looking at another top uh, top ten pick? Oh man, the way it's been looking. Yeah, what's up, Johnny? What up, my man? Yeah, Johnny it's Dean. Definitely, it definitely looking a little shaky. Definitely yeah. looking a little shaky. And uh, yeah. the Texans, yeah, they got to do something. They got to do something like now. I don't know. Yeah. I expected them to look a little bit better than what they're looking like now. I, right. I really did. I thought, yeah, it's not working. It's not working. No. So let me ask you this. Now, I know they just got that boy, D'Amico Ryans. Yeah. Shout out to him. They all, they they put it in. They said they're going to give him the chance, hopefully like three, three to five years. But we know he's a third coach in three years, Janae. So yeah. is he, is there a hot seat brewing over there or? Are they going to give him, the, you know, the benefit of the doubt and say this year's already hot. tanked? The seat is hot. Ooh. The seat <laughs> is hot. I, yeah. guess I, I, I know that the pieces that they're trying to put in is make trying to make it so that they have a – they got a successful season. And as of it's going right now, the Texans are looking like they're probably going to be on that list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel for them. I, I, I truly do. But – they needed more problems than just a quarterback and a defensive end. They oh, way um, more, way more. Yeah, so we gonna we gonna see what's going on, Johnny. Uh, we got a game in our division. The team that we all said was gonna be in the basement, and they were looking that way for half the game. After Washington destroyed the Cardinals, uh, <laughs> destroyed, destroyed. <laughs> You know what? Keep going. Keep going, Sean. <laughs> Yo, the deck on uh, New York Giants were losing to him at one point, I think 24 to nothing. Yes. And it was looking ugly. Uh, and, and at that, yeah, I think between, like, through the first six quarters, they were, what was it? It was something like 64 to nothing because the 40-pointer with y'all and then 24 from there. I, 
I, I had already said, hey, that's good. They're tanking. But they came back. They came back, Janae. They brought it all the way back. I, uh, good and for them, yay. Yeah. And won. So they pulled another miracle, right? Every Somebody got miracle, Sean, not just Washington. Yeah. It was another team. The Giants, after they got destroyed, I think they were starting to feel like, oh, my God, this can't happen again, but we're going to get destroyed. It's it, Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a done deal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think the Giants, um, I honestly do think the Giants are better than what they've showed in the first game. I do honestly yeah. think that. So, but yep. we're going to see. We yeah. will see. I mean, look, hey, hey Saquon, I feel for him and all that off the field stuff about the, the contract and all this stuff. Daniel Jones noted it looked great, but that was in, in the first game. But yeah, like you said, that them coming back showing that resiliency. And and again, just like everybody said in week one, when my guys played the Cardinals, they said, Oh, they're just the Cardinals and they're not that great. We can say the same thing for the Giants. That's my only thing. I'm good. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it right there. Uh, as right. long as you're leaving it. Long as you're <laughs> right. leaving it. Long as you're leaving it right there. Because And I'm gonna leave that right there too. Let's go. Okay. Let's okay. go. <laughs> okay, my guy. Okay, my yo, guy. Yo, San Francisco and the Rams, a classic battle. We know even though no matter what the records are, these teams always go toe-to-toe. This was a great one, 30-23. to 23, uh, San Francisco gets a W. So the first week, I was, I was like, okay, maybe Seattle's not that great. That's why the Rams dominated because they won by two scores. This week, they went toe-to-toe. With one of the best teams, if not the best team in the NFC, are the Rams back? Mm, I don't know, Sean. I don't know. I think we got to see a better example. I do think that they are doing way better. They started off way better than, I guess, me or you thought. So yeah. they are starting off pretty hot, but I don't know. I'm not willing to say they're back, but they are showing some improvement from last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, hey, shout out to them for getting a good game in there like that. C-Mac and them, Debo, we know how those boys balled out on that side. But I'm glad to see that Matthew Stafford is is able to uh, and be this competitive, especially with Cooper Cup not being on the field. Absolutely. And C-Mac, my God, man, C-Mac is just a beast. He's that He's guy. We knew he was that beast. guy. Oh, yeah. He's that guy. Absolutely. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy is still showing that he's definitely relevant. The team looking good. The team is looking oh. good. Mm-hmm. Rams look tough. They definitely do, but they still have the Niners. And, yeah, that, that's yep. going to be the issue. That's yeah. going to be the issue. But I do think that they look way better than what they did, way better than what I expected. Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. Steelers up 7-0, scoring the oh. first play of the drive. Okay. Okay. Hey. Pittsburgh, here we go. going to prove us both wrong. What is going on, people that are watching? We are right now going through the NFL scoreboard for Sunday. Uh, you guys, Tampa Bay fans, you guys are in here. We already kind of said it. The Bears are done. You guys got a W, and right now, Baker Mayfield has you guys 2-0. and Tampa fans, how y'all feeling right now? They should feel pretty good, man. Uh, I, they, they were able to pull it off. They're looking pretty good. I mean, yeah. what can you say? Mike Evans is getting off. Boom. Mike yep. Evans is getting yep. off. He's showing that he should be paid, paid big. He's from the first two games. Mike Evans is showing that he is still worth every penny, every penny. And y'all should still feeding the ball because word around town is he doesn't want to be there too much longer after this season. Mm. So y'all need to make sure Mike Evans leaves the building happy every Sunday. Yeah, well, and and that's my thing. Like I understand. Okay, you want to wait to see how he plays till you do the extension or whatever. But once you've seen these two first two games where he's been balling out, literally like just dominating, carrying the squad. It's been proven. I mean, I don't even know what we're even talking about. We're talking about Mike Evans. Right. He's one of the ones that should be paid. Pay the man. Pay him. Pay him. Pay that because, man. hey, hey, I don't have to say it. You know, Janae don't have to say it. Ben, Johnny, you guys have said it. Shout out to Slick and AJ, man. They've talked about it. If you let a guy like Mike Evans go, you might have to rebuild on offense, man, because you, Mike Evans right is the now? cornerstone. How are you right. doing what you're doing right now? Is because right. of Mike right. You would yeah. not be having these dubs without him. You would yeah. not be having these dubs without now, him. Now, now I will say, I will say, like Ben is saying, that defense 
is legit. Five takeaways in that uh, on our def- on their defense this year. We know what kind of team they are. Their defense has carried them for many years. Yes. So, yo, as long as that defense staying healthy, you got Baker throwing for over three hundred yards. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm getting, shout yeah, out I'm getting to them. Shout out to them. They get oh, yeah. wins. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, the last one, Miami. Oh, oh yeah. What Miami? Miami in uh, New England first. We missed one. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. First of all, Miami's 2 0. Tua got it done. It looks good. Mostert, he's rushing the wait, ball. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if there's a night game. There's still a game that we are clearly missing from the. Oh, my goodness. Game. All right. All right. All right. The Dallas Cowboys beat the New York Jets without Aaron Rodgers 30 to 10. Are you happy? Like, come on, man. There we go. That's all I want you to say. Oh, my goodness. Day, that's all I wanted you to say, my friend. 30 to 10. In wow. two games, ladies and gentlemen, my defense has only allowed 10 points. That That's probably only happened, what, four, four five times in the history what? of the NFL? No. <laughs> what are these numbers? Wait, no. Oh, we can look it up. We can look it up. Oh, in the first we might have to. Season. Yo, get out of here. Of it hasn't happened too many times, you guys. Oh, my goodness. 70, 70 points to 10 on defense. 70 <sighs> offensive points to 10. <sighs> well, I mean, we can move on from my team now. But Wow, thank you for, thank you for, my, for my two <laughs> seconds, you know. I just wanted to – I mean, but, Sean, what does it say, though? Like, it, is it is it done for Zach? Zach done? Or is this something they got to work through? Now, nah, come on. And all jokes aside, they did not come with a good game plan. They no. literally – No. They literally gave their running back four opportunities. Four. four. Yeah. Yeah. Brees Hall, four. four. Yeah. Like, it, it, and then gave Cook – it just didn't wasn't a good offensive plan. They did not go mm. in there to run and pound the ball like mm. they should have. They nope. let Zach just get eight by sharks yep. in in for an entire sixty minutes. Yeah, they they, they, they let the man throw. One beautiful play to Wilson. One was nice. beautiful, beautiful yeah. play. I couldn't even be mad at it because I said that was damn beautiful. It was good. But it was good. That's it. That's it. That's that it. it. Zach is it's embarrassing. Zach the guy? It, was, it was embarrassing. Look, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Janae. Uh, when they drafted him, I, I questioned it. Uh, when they saw him play and he was kind of terrible, I, I questioned it. When they went and got Aaron Rodgers and gave up all of that to bring him here, I said maybe, maybe they're trying to tell us something. Maybe Zach ain't the guy. So I know they weren't prepared because – they were not hoping that Zach stayed, first of all, and then they definitely weren't hoping that Zach was going to get in the game. They definitely went with the Aaron Rodgers game plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't work that way. They Can't do it. It doesn't work that way. Mm-hmm. I, I probably watched mm-hmm. like 10 videos today, today about, you know, Rex Ryan basically breaking it down. The Jets blew it because they did not ground and pound. The Jets blew it because they did not come in there with a good game plan. The Jets blew it. Because they never double team my man Micah Parsons. There's some things that is like a must in the game. Micah Parsons had a field day. I, I honestly think the Jets went from we are playoff bound to we are picking in the first round. Early in the first round. I just I just don't see anything different. Like, Honestly, I love their weapons. Brees Hall, Michael Carter. I love Garrett Wilson, Offensive Rookie of the Year uh, 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 last year. But without uh, Zach Wilson's not it. In my opinion, from what I've seen, he's not it. I, until he shows me otherwise, but Johnny, man. you are absolutely right, Johnny. They need to let that man throw as little as possible. Like a Dak Prescott. I mean, I'm not comparing him to Dak, but I'm saying what Mike McCarthy's been doing with making Dak just a game manager. Mm-hmm. That's all you need to do. You use the two running backs yep. that you have, two dynamic running backs, mm-hmm. two number one running backs down each team's throat. 
Yeah. You yep. use them and you power them through, and that's the game plan. It, thank you, Ben. Thank you. Yes, he did something that he normally doesn't do, but he ran the ball. That is the key, and they've been telling you all off season that that was going to be our key, and that's what the Jets need to do because they got the personnel. The yep. defense didn't do do it yesterday, but we know that defense is stout. They just got to come with a better plan. And hack it, you are on the chopping block because now you have to show the world that you can do it without Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. But you, Aaron Rodgers isn't the one making you look good, like Kellen mm. Moore. Mm. It's a true it fact. Is. Some there coordinators only are good with the – with certain people. With yep. certain people. Certain people. And then you ride the glory off of it. But Zach is not Aaron. And you got to come up with a whole new game plan, which is yep. run the damn ball. Very. Now you got to hide his mistakes. That's what it is. Uh, we have an update on the Carolina and the Saints game. Derek Carr oh, just threw a pick. Here we go. Carr. I was just giving Here you the place, Carr. Uh, 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 somebody, somebody's got the guns loaded. <laughs> Woo! Listen, can't finish him. They 0-2. Mm. That's all I can say. I remember <clears throat> saying it was my boy Dak and how it's <clears throat> gonna be such an issue this season <clears throat> because he doesn't have Kellen Moore. But there's another team that's not finishing with Kellen Moore. So I- I'll leave <clears throat> that at that. 7-3 now in the Pittsburgh game. Let's go. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. I want to see him Nick- do something. I'm, I'm hoping. Nick- Nicole, Mrs. Winston. Winston. Oh, I'm, sorry, Nicole. Do, I'm sorry, Nicole. I'm sorry, Nicole. I do too, man. I just like, I like <laughs> having Winston. Um, come on, man. Come on. Eat a W, baby. Oh, uh, Johnny like doesn't. Him. No. I like him. Johnny, I like yeah. him. I don't know why, but I like him. That's my guy. That's my guy. That is my but guy. Yo. John, we can get into the last game. <laughs> now we can talk about Miami. What was Miami Miami. Doing? Me, I mean, 124 to 17. Tua does his normal deal. What I want to talk about is that run game. Moster, 18 carries, buck 21, and two TDs. I think that's one of the most underrated parts of the Miami Dolphins right now. <laughs> Everybody knows about Waddle and, and Tua getting it out there to Tyreek Hill, who's big, do it, get big numbers. But Raheem Moster running that rock is really stabilizing that offense and it gives it a balance. That's really helping them. And in a game like this, where it is a rock fight, you know, it is going back and forth, you need to have that run to sustain you. So I think that shout was absolutely huge. Yeah. Shout out, that's my guy right now, man. So shout out to Mostert. He did, definitely helped me on my fantasy, so I was paying attention to him. For, no <laughs> doubt about it. <laughs> but, you know, but, nay, Bill Belichick, 0-2. What are we talking about, man? What's up? Something else we've been saying. We've been saying this, but people don't want to get on this Let's Talk Football platform and listen. They think hmm. we're crazy. It's not going to happen. The era of Bill Belichick and wins are over. Woo! It's over. It's over. You heard it. In my opinion, it's over. I think that Brady was that key. And uh-huh. now that they don't have Brady, I mean, Sean, I know you've been on Belichick's side. You know, he's, he's doing it. He's going to do it. Sean, what are you thinking now? Like, what are you really feeling now, honestly? Because you've been riding for him all of these seasons now that he hasn't had Tom Brady. And I've been telling Look. you, nothing is happening with it. Listen, Bill Belichick is still the great Bill Belichick that we know, okay? He's still the got great it. Bill Belichick with Look. Tom Brady. Listen, when he had Tom Brady, they molded and they meshed together, and it was a great marriage. It was a marriage of convenience. It worked, all right? Tom Brady went off, and he had success. Nobody talks about how Tom Brady had to get a super team to have that instant success and how he struggled the next couple years. The okay? same team that Jameis Winston had, they didn't add anything look, else look. other than Gronk. No, oh, and, and Leonard Fournette, Leonard Fournette, and AB. Get out of here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> AB wasn't even their main guy. It wasn't even the main guy. Hey, hey, Godwin but he was one was of the guys. Godwin was already there. Godwin was the guy. Come on. Look. Bill has Belichick Heimers. <laughs> Thank you. He does. He thinks that Brady's his QB. Matt Jones is not him. It's not the, it. The W's not it. are gone, Sean. The era of Bill Belichick and wins 
are it's gone. It's a long season. It's a long season. It's it's a long season. I just think these first two losses, I get it, but I, I I'm telling you, I'm not. If there's anybody that can turn things around, it's Bill. He's the guy that's going to get them back on the right foot, in my opinion. There it is. There it is. Watch, watch for the New England Patriots. When, when are we going to see the turnaround? Week three. What year? <laughs> what year? <laughs> of this year, yo. It's well. just like it's just like Alabama. Everybody's starting to see that it's, it it can't last forever. <laughs> It can't last forever, and I need you to. I, Bill Belichick was Belichick was great. He was great, but with Tom Brady, uh-uh. he's got other. And spies. he hasn't Yo. done any. He hasn't had any success. No success without. Almost he, he almost got to the playoffs. Look, he still has a oh, defense that looks good. <laughs> He still he still has a solid defense. Almost he still has some like, offense. Yes. Sean, is that what we've stooped to? No. Is that what we've stooped to? I mean, almost got to Look. the Super Bowl. Almost got to the divisional round. <laughs> but just almost even got into the play. We're not counting those. Yo, yo. We're not yo, counting those. Yo, Janae, Janae, mark my words. New England will have a turnaround this year. They're going to make some noise in the AFC East. There it is. I'm telling you this right now. Look for another eight and nine season, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Wow. Uh, ben says, however, I do think New England beats the Jets next week. They won 16 games in a row against the New York Jets. Hmm. Hmm. Could be two. What up, BG? I tell, you, I tell you what, QB coach duo doesn't work. McCorney and Zach. <laughs> <laughs> they can't stand us. Left hand up, who are we, the commanders? The thing is, <laughs> I, I just want realistic people to get on the show. <laughs> Y'all not realistic. It's, but it's okay. It's okay. 